Hello, welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna to do a little something different in my bullet journal. I am going to show you how I set up and do my weekly spreads. I just did a video on my January monthly spread. I have several videos here on the YouTube channel showing you how I do this and um, so hopefully you get a, a little better idea of my monthly spread, but it dawned on me and occurred to me that I have not really shown you how I do my weekly. So first of all, I'm gonna show you some past spreads that I've done um, and kind of what I do. I use this as a weekly calendar, to-do list, all the things that I need to accomplish that week. I also use it to record my gratitude each day. And what I try to do is I use my little photo printer and print out pictures from the week that I can use in my calendar. So it kind of serves as a little scrapbook as well. Um, I use. I incorporate stickers, I incorporate washi tape, and I really enjoy this. Now, let me also say, here's some more. I love to add just little day-to-day -day things. Um, you know, obviously I like to put in bigger events, but like here is when I fell, and I wrote it in there. Today I fell while walking, re-injured my own shoulder. It could have been worse, but then there's a picture of my hand where it was bleeding. Um, so, this is what my weeklies look like. Now, let me also tell you this. There are times that my weeklies just don't have a lot in them. Like this, for instance. You know, some weeks, I don't know. I don't know why, but this is a particular week that just didn't really go anywhere. So, that's okay, I leave them in the past and I move forward. So, I also want to show you some past weekly spreads that I've done. This is a weekly spread that I did back in 2018. You can see that I've incorporated a weekly tracker. I really like using the weekly tracker and I may go back to that at some point. I haven't done that in a while. But if you're tracking, um, like for here I was tracking fitness, and so it's an easy way to kind of look and see what you've done. So that makes it really nice. Um, this is another way, and I tried this several times to do these vertical weekly spreads, and I don't know. It just, I found that it, I, I, it wasn't conducive to my style. I love it. I love the way they look, but they're a little more labor intense for me. And my, I don't know. They just, they just didn't work as well as I wanted them to. This way works much better for me. So that's how I stick. So I'll come back and show you how I set it up on Sunday. Okay. So first of all, let me show you what I use to write out my days of the week. I use these Tombow brush pens. These are the best. I love them so much. There are tons of colors. There's over a hundred different colors of these. At some point I may treat myself to the entire set, but for now, this is what I have. I keep this by my I keep this by my chair where I do my planning each week. And what I do is I just pick out some colors that I want to use that week to write out my days. And that's what I do. So let me show you what I do. I have done this differently in the past. I have gone through and just done one day at a time. But I have found that for planning purposes, it's better for me to have each day written out. So, what I do is I start and I write Monday. 
I start my weeklies on Monday. I'm gonna write, tomorrow is the third, January 3rd, and I go ahead and write in my gratitude right there. So I have a place already there to write out whatever I am thankful for each day. And then I'm gonna skip down, and I kinda know now where I need these set up. So I'm gonna write Tuesday. And I will tell you, there are so many different ways to do these weekly spreads. This is just the way that I have found works the best for me. I'm gonna come in and write Wednesday. One five. Gratitude. We're going to come up here and write Thursday. And you can see my handwriting is nothing special, but I find that I love, I love using these brush pens to make a kind of a bolder statement. Let's use this. We're gonna do this for Friday. And sometimes these lighter colors are kind of hard to see. And there's been times I've come back and embellished these a little bit more than I do, that I'm going to now. But um, this, is, this is what we've got. And depending on what I've got for the weekend, I've really kind of gotten lazy where I just write in weekend. And I will also tell you that sometimes I just leave this part off and then I kind of come back in and fill it in later. It, it really just depends on what I've got going on. So I just combine those because that's just what works for me. You can do it how you want. So. This is how I set my weeks up on Sunday. And then what I do from here is, this is my Lamy fountain pen that I actually keep here on my pen loop. And this is what I, this is what I use to do my day-to-day -day writing in my bullet journal. So then what I do is I come in here and I actually use a bullet, a little bullet point, and I will write a task, something that I need to do on tomorrow. Um, if I've got a meeting someplace where I need to go, I'll usually use a circle that I can fill in. I will also go back to my, my birthdays. If there's a birthday during that week, what I will do is do a little heart and the name of the person whose birthday it is. So I have that reminder. And then typically, if I've got some other appointments or meetings throughout the week, I go ahead and fill those in so I don't forget them. What I do is I use my, my calendar app, my Outlook, and I go to that week and I just look through because that's where I keep everything. And then I write them in here. Then throughout the week when I need to remember something, if I need to make a list of something, if I need to write something down that I'm not gonna forget, if I'm taking notes from a phone call that day, I have this space then to write that out. And then, so tomorrow night on Monday night, before I go to bed, I will pull out my bullet journal see what I've got the next day, and I'll go ahead and write in my gratitude for the day. And then sometimes I'll get my um, planner stickers out and maybe put a sticker in. If I really need a little extra motivation, I might put a little motivational sticker on there somewhere. I may add some washi tape. If I've got 
some kind of a little piece of ephemera, a ticket stub or something like that, I'll add it. So then next weekend, when it's time to sit down and plan, the next week, what I like to do is go through my phone and go ahead and print off my little pictures to add to my week. So then I have something to look back on and gives me those little memories. So this was a very quick video, but I hope this gives you maybe a little bit of motivation to do some bullet journaling. This is how I do my weekly. If you have more tasks that you need to add, what I would tell you is I've seen some people use a page a day or they may use, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So that's what's so awesome about bullet journaling is you can make this work for you. It is such a great way to customize your planning for you. Also, it gives you an opportunity to get creative. Use those planner supplies, use those pens, use the paints, use the stickers, and incorporate them into your calendar. I can tell you it's so funny when I'm sitting in a, in a professional meeting and I pull this out, I actually use this also to take notes for meetings or phone calls. I have recently started a new job and I used it to, if I can find it, I will show you. I used it to take notes right here for um, my first week. And so I have gone back to this many times to reference. So use it for you. It's um, just make it work. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this gives you some motivation to try out your own weekly spreads, your own bullet journals. This is a good time to start.